Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is a video that was actually suggested by one of you on the video that I did a while ago, pre having a baby, all about what my plans were for maternity leave and work and all of that kind of stuff. Somebody suggested, hey, why don't you make a video about maternity leave expectations and the reality of it? Before my baby, Rowan, was born, I wrote down a whole bunch of my expectations for what maternity leave would be like. And I have not looked at what I wrote down until now. Got it here on my phone. I'm gonna be going through what my expectations were and what the reality of taking three months off of my work, this job that I do, and looking after a newborn and all of that. I honestly have no memory of what I put here. So this is gonna be fun. Classic me though, clearly always organized. I split it up into personal and work and then general. <laughs> so here we go. We're starting off with the personal. I've written socially isolating, won't see old friends as much, but then also support network with new friends, brackets NCT. Cause I did an NCT antenatal course and oh my God, yes, this, this is true. Especially the second point about that support network of my new NCT friends have a WhatsApp group with the other mums and that has just been like a 24 seven helpline basically, just a very active WhatsApp group, all times of day and night, honestly amazing. But not just the WhatsApp group because they live locally to us, been lots of hanging out at the pub, at the park, at various cafes, all sorts of things. And just having that group of women and their babies as well has been so good, so good during all of that time off. And even now still, because I'm working part time, just having other people going through the same thing as you and people just to hang out with when you're bored out of your mind. <laughs> so that's been amazing. The won't see old friends as much. I mean, living in London and especially with the last few years of the pandemic and stuff, it's hard to know what is a normal amount of time to be seen and hanging out with friends. Most of my friends have visited and seen me and seen the baby since he's been born, like during maternity leave. But I don't know, like especially with family visiting as well, the calendar gets booked up <laughs> real quick, especially weekends when all of my friends who have jobs and are only available in the evenings and weekends and I can't really go out in the evenings. So it's just like a limited amount of time, which is why most of my socializing has been with other mums of babies. There was definitely this feeling of like, oh, these people, these friends have been really Really eager to be like, let me know when I can come visit you and visit Rowan. And then others who it's just like radio silence from. And then maybe eventually if I reached out or eventually like they would reach out. That hits weird, definitely feels different. I know a lot of other new parents experience this as well. Some people just are really interested in your new life and your baby and others just aren't. And like, honestly, that's fine. But it is weird having it like play out in your life and be like, oh, that person like hasn't said hello <laughs> like what's going on is it selfish of me to be expecting that I don't know I don't know okay next I've put relationship with Dan and I've put no piv sex penis and vagina hopefully still other kinds of sex slash intimacy slash sexual currency watch some of my videos on the Hannah Witten channel about sexual currency on the sex front I think I'll have to do a whole video for the hormone diaries about that because that's been a whole thing for other reasons basically my genitals have really been playing up since birth and I don't know whether it's just like all of the hormones also just like the heat at the moment my genitals have not been happy however other kinds of sex intimacy and sexual currency all of that excellent 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 and I would even say like since Rowan's been born like that stuff has also increased a lot as well there's something about having a baby that just makes you go oh my god you ah, you're the person that I made this baby with and blah and my sister-in-law Dan's sister edits these videos so you're welcome Beth <laughs> also written here, expecting tension slash resentment when Dan back at work, but together figuring out a way to navigate through it. So I think I was probably more worried about this than what kind of happened because we've just been talking about it constantly. Like every single little change that has happened and even like before it's happening as we're anticipating changes, like me returning to work and things like that. We talk it out so much like, okay, what if I feel like this? What if this happens? Da -da -da -da. What's going on here. I think with 
Dan going back to work after six weeks, I was definitely really worried and really scared like when that first happened. But it turned out that I was like more capable to look after Rowan by myself than I gave myself credit for. And it ended up not being as bad as like what I was imagining in my head. I definitely do still get moments of resentment with Dan <laughs> when it's the morning and Rowan wakes up for the day before Dan wakes up to go to work. So I'm like, why does Dan get a lion when he's going to work? It's just very frustrating. I'm like, could you just do this 45 minutes here? <laughs> with Rowan so I could get a lion. It's tricky. It's very tricky because then also Dan stays up later with him. But the reason I go to bed early is because I need it because I'm up all night with him. Lots of weird little bits to navigate. I've also written here, watch lots of TV, question mark, question mark, question mark, bored, question mark. And oh my goodness, I've watched so much television, especially I think during those first six weeks when almost all I would do was just like sit on the sofa and breastfeed and <laughs> watch telly. That's definitely reduced now. Now, I'm much more just like active and out and about. But I am planning on making a video that is going to be me tier ranking every TV show I have watched during maternity leave. Lots of TV has been watched. And the bored point, yes, I have found many moments of maternity leave and looking after a newborn this first like three months quite boring, <laughs> which is part of my just personality. But it has meant that I have been like quite active during these first three months. A lot of people were quite shocked that I was like out and about like literally the day after I got home from hospital, which is like day five post birth, post C-section. But it was the London local elections and Dan and I hadn't pre-organized postal voting. So I had to get to that polling station. <laughs> but there was lots of walks to the pub and honestly it helped. Like I needed at least one activity a day and that could just be walking to the pub and having like a Coke in the pub and then coming back home. I just needed something to anchor my day around. It might even just be like somebody visiting, a family member or a friend visiting. I needed one thing. If I was just like gonna be at home with no plans to do anything, to see anyone, I'd just be going a bit stir crazy just hanging out with this random baby. <laughs> it's weird. It's completely all encompassing and exhausting and very overwhelming, but completely boring at the same time. The other expectation I had was Dan to be amazing in the first six weeks, doing everything else, washing, cooking, cleaning, shopping etc. Yes, my expectation here was correct. It was kind of cute. Dan would be like, okay, this is on my list of jobs to do today. And then he'd get through his like list of jobs and it would just be like all sorts of different like house stuff. Yeah, and that first six weeks was his paternity leave before he went back to work. Nothing else to say there. Win, win, win. Okay, moving on to my work expectations. So I've written here, I'm gonna really love not working for three months. I think I did. It, despite the boredom and all that other stuff I mentioned before, I think I needed that honestly, like since I started making YouTube videos, what was it like 11 years ago now? I've not had three months off. So that was a nice reset and I could definitely feel myself towards the end getting like the itch and like wanting to like make stuff and get back into filming and things, but very much enjoyed like not thinking about it, not worrying about it, didn't even have videos to upload. Like the fact that that kind of part of my life wasn't taking up real estate in my brain, chef's kiss, would recommend taking a break from work. Not necessarily to have a baby, but also really difficult when Dan goes back to work. It was way easier than I expected, but still really difficult, but I had a lot of worries and then it was fine. So that's good. Still active in Patreon Discord server socially. Oh my God, yes. As well as my NCT WhatsApp group being so helpful and so supportive during this time, the Discord server that we have with my patrons has been amazing, especially because when I got pregnant, Pregnant, we started a new channel in there called Kids Table for all pregnancy related stuff and then also like baby parenthood stuff. And oh my goodness, again, the support in that group, the helpful information and tips and advice when asked for, it's just so good. It's one of those places that I go just to like share wins and share tough days and also like ask for help and advice and things like that and recommendations. It is a fantastic space. I love it. 
thank you all to the people who are there just making it a very special welcoming place. Okay, oh, this is my expectation for like what logistically my work would look at. So when I'm back at work, Dan, four day work week, no, not happening. <laughs> Baby in nursery, one day per week. I have two full days for work and other work gets done around baby? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, that's not how things are happening at all. I thought I would only be able to put Rowan in childcare one day a week, then Dan would have him for a day. Oh, so I would have two full days. Yeah, no. Because of the way that my work works with like the content creation process, there's like stuff that needs to get done on multiple days of the week. So like from reviewing scripts to filming and recording to reviewing video edits and stuff like when the deadlines and things for all of those are happening it like happens throughout the week so I realized quite quickly that I needed to be available multiple days a week but also Rowan's just so small and I don't want to be away from him for an entire day like that is too much one for me personally but also he's so young he's like the youngest that nurseries and childminders will accept a baby he doesn't need to be away from me that long and I don't think he really should be away from me that long like some of the nurseries wouldn't even accept like a half day like it was 8 a.m till 6 p.m and it's just like no <laughs> no 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 but what we've done now is we found him a childminder and he's doing four half days a week and then Fridays is my full day with Rowan so that's how it's going instead. So it's the same amount of time as me having like two full working days, but it's just split up over multiple days. And in the general category, I've just put beautiful weather, spring slash summer, which honestly I think was very optimistic, but also maybe my hopes and my expectations here cursed us with this heat wave <laughs> because yes, while some of it has been beautiful weather, other times it's been quite terrifying weather, especially when you have a newborn baby. They can't regulate their own temperatures. Not fun. So whilst I thought it would be a good thing having great weather, it's been kind of a mixed bag. Like sometimes nice because I've been able to get out and about a lot. I think I've used the rain cover on Rowan's pram like once. So that's a lot of fun. But then just like having a baby in a lot of heat, less fun. Didn't really think about that when I was like, yay, summer. Thank you so much for watching. So those are my expectations and the reality of my maternity leave. That was obviously just like a sprinkling of it, not everything that happened. Do let me know if you want to hear more about that first three months that I took off or just generally like other parenting and work content. And if you have any other questions about it, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.